What's up, I'm Jacob Hager and I'm gonna show you 10 easy tricks you could do if you're a beginner bike rider and don't know how to do any tricks. Uh, I'm not gonna go super in depth on these tricks. I'm just gonna kind of show you what they are and give you a tip on them. The first one is catwalks. Basically, you're just pulling up on the bars as you push, as you put pressure on the pedal and it lifts you up and then you just carry your speed by pedaling. And you also carry your balance by pedaling. So if you start to fall down, pedal a little harder. Number two is a little frame surfer. So this is every kid's favorite trick. You just stand with your one foot on the seat and your other foot on the frame. If you're feeling a little bit froggy, you can put your foot up on the, on the stem here and steer with your foot. This is for beginners, so we're just gonna stick to the regular surfer. Hop on your seat and frame. Oh, that's my tire. You just hop from your pedals to your seat and frame, and you know, right away. This one, here's an honorable mention, shout out Here's I don't even know what this is called, but basically you swing your back leg over onto your opposite peg, and then you put your front foot on your front peg, and then you just drop the front end down. Here, I'll show you. If you wanna learn flatland, that's, that's a good starting point right there. Number three is X up ride. There's a couple ways to do this. So you pick which way is more comfortable to do your X up. And uh, when I first learned the hand that comes over top, the hand that's out in front when you're X'd, uh, sometimes it was easier for me to turn that hand around. So I would turn that hand around and then do the X up ride. That's okay for a beginner. If you want to learn them the right way, keep your hands like this, loosen them up. It's like you're holding them with your two, uh, with your index finger and thumb, and you just keep all the other fingers loose. So you kind of just lift up the front end, do your X up, ride, lift it up, pop back. So the fourth one is like a rocket manual, but with one peg instead of two, it makes it easier because you can use your back foot to balance. Basically, put your foot on the back peg, pull up on the front end, and then swing your leg that's off the peg to keep yourself balanced. Number five is my personal favorite. This is a magnet. Basically what this is, is it's like a bunny hop, but your feet come off first. So you take your feet off, and then you kind of do the bunny hop motion, which is exactly this, pulling up on the front end and pushing forward like this, without because your feet aren't going to be on the bike, so you have to actually do this motion, and then put your feet back on. Number six is a foot jam to fakie flat, or just a foot jam in general flat. Uh, for beginners, you just ride up and do a little foot jam, push your foot in your tire, Hop back on the pedal and you can ride away, or if you have fakies, you can ride backwards into your fakie. But it's a real easy trick for beginners. So here is one of my favorites. Uh, I learned it from Dew Tour. Check me out. This only works if your bike falls with your, like, with your bars facing the proper way up. So if your stem's facing forward, if your bars are on the ground, it's not gonna work. And it works with pegs, I guess. I didn't know that, but now I do. Um, and I don't think it, I don't know if it matters where your, where your stuff is in the middle, but like, yeah. So you basically just give your, your, it might actually, it's probably easier with pegs. It looks easier with pegs. If not, you're gonna have to rely, rely on your crank arms. But when your bike's like this, you just kind of give a little kick to your back wheel and your grip goes right into your hand. Oh, here's a good one, a no hand ride one. So like you just riding with no hands. Basically the trick to this is having a little bit taller seat and instead of standing on your pedals, you stand on your cranks and then you can balance with no hands all day. It's easier when you're rolling, I'll show you. <laughs> uh, number nine, I believe is what we're on now, is a pull up bar. There's a few ways to do this. I'm gonna do it the beginner method. The, the regular way to do it is to, when you're standing on your cranks, is to just kind of use that pedal pressure to pull up and then throw the bar, but we're not gonna do it that way because it's the beginner way. So this works if you have pegs. If you don't have pegs, you can still do it by standing on your bolts. It's a little sketchier, but if you have a peg, 
you just put your front foot on the back peg or vice versa, whatever feels comfortable, and then pull up, slang them. And then also another way to do it once you get that down is if you have a peg on your back foot or if you're like running four pegs, then you put your back foot on the peg while on the pedal and pull up bar and then it looks like you're not standing on the peg. It, just in a little, a little trick there. Stunt. Number 10 is a, uh, is a little flat ground bike spin. This is actually my favorite trick. I'm gonna walk you through this. All right, this one's a little bit confusing, but it's super easy. So basically, what you're gonna do is jump off the bike, keep your pedals flat so you can jump back on it. So you wanna jump off your bike to your back foot, and then what you're gonna do is kick the bike out. You'll kind of be walking with it. You'll kick the bike out like this. So like that, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna throw the back wheel out with your arms. And then as you do that, you're gonna let this hand go. And then you're gonna let the bike swing around your arm. And then you're gonna hop back on it. So this is the motion you're gonna do and then you're gonna jump back on your pedals. So I'm gonna do one for you. It's really easy, it's just a little confusing, but once you figure that out, it's one of the most fun tricks. So number 11, I don't even know what it's called, but it's where you turn around while you're on the bike and you sit on your bars. Basically what you wanna do is, when you're riding, you wanna swap your feet like that and then turn your body around, sit on your bars, and then you can pedal backwards. See, it went sideways for some reason. I'm gonna fix that real quick. A little bonus one, we had to call Sean in for that one. The more speed you have, the easier it is to balance. Oh boy. Bars, switch your, fuck. Sit on the bars, swap the, oh. Maybe this is not the beginner trick. Right. One more time. And we've done it. Setting so thank you so much for watching. This is my top 10 beginner BMX tricks for beginners. Hope you liked it. Um, like this. <laughs> Hopefully these are fun for you beginners out there. Hopefully you learned something from this. And yeah, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the more advanced how to's for when you start progressing a little bit more. And then make sure you check out thehangerco.com and get yourself some merch to support me and what I do. That way I can do this more often. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment below some other stuff that you want to see and uh, like the video if this helped. You know what to do. <laughs> we'll see you next time.